If you look real high, you just might find sitting in the stars, glistening, glistening, waiting for the band to come. Just waiting for the band to come. Oh, I wonder. For our chem project, Spencer and I have decided to research electroplating. In its most fundamental form, it is the process of coating one metal with another. You can see examples of this in everyday life. From jewelry to wrenches, electroplating is everywhere. Due to our limited supplies, Spencer and I had to do electroplating on a basic form. So we used vinegar, a battery, some wires, some coins, and some salt. We started off by pouring about one cup full of vinegar. Next, we added a good amount of salt and stirred it well to increase the conductivity of the vinegar. We then took a wire and attached it to the positive side of the battery. Then we took the other side and securely tightened it to the penny. We used a penny from 1962. That's because it had a bit more copper. Then we repeated the same process, but attaching the wire to the negative side and the other end to a quarter. As soon as the process is ready, insert both coins into the solution. The penny will act as an anode and will actually dissolve into the solution. The quarter will act as the cathode and will absorb the copper on the outside of it. As the process begins work, you'll actually see bubbles forming around the cathode or the quarter. These are actually hydrogen gas bubbles being released. In other words, we're dissolving the copper into the solution and then transferring it over onto the quarter. Electricity is used to speed up the process, but it still takes a while. So like good scientists, we waited and we watched. After about five or six minutes, we took out the quarter and we were happy to see it developed a nice, shiny, copper sheen to it. And while we were happy with our first result, like great scientists, we decided to do it again. So this involved a bit more waiting. Check it out, we were happy to see it developed a nice coppery coating. The process of electroplating is used to improve durability as well as aesthetics. Spencer and I hope that you found our video both educational and entertaining. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Thanks. <laughs>